स्टूडेंट्स वी डू सम प्रॉब्लम्स रिलेटेड टू वर्क एनर्जी पावर और कन्जर्वेशन ऑफ एनर्जी दिस इज एग्जांपल प्रॉब्लम सिक्स पॉइंट एट टू सिमुलेट द कार एक्सीडेंट्स ऑटो मैन्युफैक्चर स्टडी द कोलिजन्स मूविंग कार्स विद माउंटेड स्प्रिंग्स विद डिफरेंट स्प्रिंग कॉन्स्टेंट्स कंसिडर ए कार ऑफ मास एम इज इक्वल टू वन थाउजेंड के जी विथ स्पीड ऑफ एटीन के एम पी एच शेल आई राइट दिस एज फाइव मीटर्स पर सेकेंड राइट ऑन ए स्मूथ रोड कोलाइडिंग विथ हॉरिजेंटल मोन्टेड स्प्रिंग सी दिस इज कॉल्ड ए स्मूथ रोड so this is a spring a spring is attached here so a car is coming here so which is coming here what happens when it is coming with a speed of 5 meters per second here then what is happening it is being crushed like this is a situation where after the car moves here so ultimately the velocity becomes zero after uh, striking it what is the stiffness of the spring our spring constant is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 3 newton per meter what is the maximum compression this is the distance uh, what is the maximum from mean position what is the compression of this so how to from the mean position from mean position what is the distance which are compression we have to calculate at x distance right now here let us choose a simple points from mean position as a 1.1 and this is a point 2 at point 1 what is the potential energy potential energy and kinetic energy kinetic energy is equal to half mv square potential energy is equal to half kx square which is equals to zero because x is equal to zero at mean position here kinetic energy is equals to zero potential energy we i will make it as u elastic potential energy or potential energy of k x m square shall i write k1 u1 k2 u2 according to a law of conservation of energy energy k1 u plus u1 is equal to k2 plus u2 right now here Of m v square is equal to u one zero and k two zero of k x m square, right? Oh. Now, what is the maximum <coughs> compression? How to calculate? See, half of gets cancelled. m v square is equal to k x m square now mass can be substituted and everything can be substituted here k value is equal to 6.25 into 10 power 3 into x m square mass is 1000 kg into velocity speed is pi square from after all calculation you will get it as xm is equals to after doing this you will get uh, about 2 meters 
about 2 meters. This is a, a simple solution by using a law of conservation of energy where potential energy is converts into kinetic energy. Right? Now, <coughs> few points we will note down uh, about uh, this uh, work done by the law of conservation of energy or where would we, how it is converting. Later on we will see another problem related to the same concept. Here uh, now from this problem uh, one thing is absent, what is the absent? Time, time is absent, how long it is being compressed. So, how long this is being compressed which was not given, right. Uh, the solution for the system like Newton second law sh should be required as a temporary information or uh, a temporary information that was lost. And see that not all the forces, see not all the forces are conservative because some other forces are there which are non-conservative forces, okay. Now, if you can we consider if we consider a non conservative force if exist non conservative force now equation like k1 plus u1 is equal to k2 plus u2 has to be modified has to be modified right now another thing that at x is equal to 0, we had seen that uh, potential energy u is equal to 0, right or v x is equal to 0, <coughs> right. When the particularly gravitational force if we consider m g uh, on the earth surface almost potential on the earth surface almost we consider that a potential energy u is equal to 0 because the distance from the earth surface is uh, 0 and in the next further cases we see that uh, according to the inverse log of gravitation at infinite distances particularly. So, what is that f inversely proportional to r square in the according to the Newton's law of gravitation at infinite distances. distances uh, <coughs> f can be f can be treated to be 0 this is called a universal a gravitational law we will see in the next chapter that you can understand right so these are the simple uh, things okay this will be because we have said this one in the middle we cannot change the expression where it is applied to universal law of gravitation we will see in the next uh, chapter how it is right. Uh, next uh, one problem is there and uh, in continuation to the 6.8 uh, uh, previous example we consider a friction then how it can be seen let us see. problem here uh, extension of 6.8 we consider a uh, friction in the problem uh, consider the in above example uh, coefficient of friction mu is equal to 0 0.5 is considered calculate the maximum compression of the in of the spring see according to the work energy theorem w is equal to delta k so w is as it is we will write it k final minus k initial here uh, after the after the compression particularly uh, the final velocity is equals to 0 w is equal to minus of m v square what are the w actually there are uh, forces like of forces uh, like forces uh, friction can also be considered. So, work done by the friction and work done by the spring force. What is the spring force of k x square minus 
ఫోర్స్ ఇంటూ డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఫోర్స్ ఇంటూ డిస్ప్లేస్మెంట్ ఎఫ్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ ఇస్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ ఆఫ్ ఎంవి స్క్వేర్ హియర్ సో వీ విల్ రైట్ ఇట్ హియర్ ఆఫ్ ఎంవి స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఆఫ్ కేఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఎఫ్ ఫో ఫ్రిక్షన్ ఇంటూ ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో హియర్ ఆఫ్ ఎంవి స్క్వేర్ ప్లస్ ఆఫ్ కేఎక్స్ స్క్వేర్ ఫ్రిక్షన్ యూ ఇంటూ ఎంజి ఎక్స్ ఈజ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో Oh, right if when you get here you will get it as if all are coming here this will become minus and this will become minus right now just make it compression okay x square plus 2 mu m g x minus m v square is equal to 0 just compare with uh, like compare with a x square plus b x plus c is equal to 0 this is a quadratic expression now we are solving here solving x value uh, under plus plus or minus and the root of b square minus b plus r minus and the root of b square minus 4 ac by 2 a like that you can do that so after solving and substitute all the values what you will get it as x is equal to minus mu mg as so let us say plus r minus under root mu square m square g square plus m k v square right simply you will get it as k right now if substitute the value you will get it as 1.35 meter earlier what we obtained we obtained as uh, 2 meters now it has been reduced because by considering the friction it has been reduced now if two forces consisting like a combination of conservative or non conservative acting on it conservative force and non conservative force are acting forces are acting now how do you do how do you approach how do the work energy theorem can be applied so work energy theorem is equals to oh, w is equal to delta k work done by conservative force plus work done by non conservative forces are equal to delta k C F C plus F N C is equal into delta X is equal to 0 right now shall I elaborate it here F C delta X plus F N C delta X is equal to 0 you know very well in the previous class we had seen conservative forces into delta x right is equal to minus delta v or conservative force is equal to minus delta v by delta x that was seen in the last class right now we apply it no issue that so, so here so not zero here sorry which is delta k which is delta k right now shall i write here if this is conservative force is minus delta v plus f n c 
delta x is equal to delta k. Now, non-conservative force like frictional force is equal to delta k plus delta v, right? So, f n c into delta x is equal to what is this? This is total energy delta e. This is delta e. So, what is this? This is a, a change in a mechanical energy. What is this? Which is non-conservative force. So, delta e is equal to w non-conservative force which is e final minus e initial is equal to work done by the non-conservative force. Non-conservative force is a simple example as frictional force and resistive force like that. Okay. Now, we had seen only two forms of energies. As, as per the one is kinetic energy and other one is potential energy. Kinetic energy and potential. Besides this actually uh, there are other forms of energy which can be transformed into one to other. What are the forces? Let me see one simple force which is heat energy. Second one chemical energy. Right. Third one electrical energy. Right. Now, fourth one equal and the equivalence of mass and energy right next nuclear energy so these are the different forms of energies we had now let me see with this one sentence how it can be seen heat energy how it is produced basically the heat energy produced by rubbing the hands in order to get warm warming of our hands we rub ourselves the palms of hands are can be rubbed together now we had seen earlier that due to the friction uh, the velocity is reduced and uh, the work done by the friction where it is gone the work done by the friction is converted into heat right the the frictional work the friction and work done converts into heat what that heat the heat raises the internal energy of the system or a block right so we shall see that uh, how the internal energy is associated with the uh, random motion of molecules right a general idea of 1 kg of water let us see uh, if you want to cool it so dry, the fall down the temperature almost it releases almost releases 42000 joules of energy into the surroundings so raising the temperature here fall down the temperature of course this is 42000 uh, joules can be released coming to the chemical energy see one of the greatest technical achievement that a man is discovered how to ignite and how to control the fire because the two flint stones together and were rubbed together and got them and heated up what this a spark has come with the spark like a le dry leaves have been ignited and flame can be similarly a matchstick ignites into a bright flame when it is struck with a special prepared chemical surface on the matchbox so right the with a smaller match stick we can lighten the crackers and as which is a spectacular display of uh, sound and as well as a light right so this is about a simple um, and a chemical energy so it is exo it might be exothermic and it is endothermic exothermic is a release of energy endothermic is absorption of energy 
right this due to a uh, reactants and reagents so you know very well right this is about a chemical energy coming to electrical energy how the bulbs are glowing and fans are rotating there are uh, which are laws governing the attraction and repulsion of the charges uh, currents we shall see clearly in the sub topics of so next topics of the chapters right the einstein has derived the relation about mass and relation e is equal to mc square the relation right so matter might change its phase like uh, suppose ice uh, like glacial ice uh, could melt into a, a steam but matter neither created nor destroyed but it can be convert one form to other form so this is a um, uh, in the when you are studying nuclear physics you can know that how e is equal to mc square and how e is equal to delta m into c square that you can see and nuclear energy the one of the highest energetic weapon is called nuclear energy the man has made and destructive weapons with the process of fusion and fusion uh, the equivalence of energy can be exploded right so even uh, the sunlight energy also uh, principle based on this uh, fusion and fusion and fusion nuclear process right so these are the simple energy forms that uh, you can see and you can learn uh, later cases we will see a simple problem converts into uh, kinetic electron volt to joule joule to electron volt so this is what actually table is not there but energy of a dna break into one bond in a electron volt convert the kinetic energy of an a molecule and the daily intake of human adult in kilo calories right how to say this what is the, uh, the energy required to break in a bond what is this first energy the energy required to break in a bond as per the table which is not there here which is 10 power minus 20 joules right mm. one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joules right now one joule is equals to one joule is equal to one by one point six into ten power minus nineteen electron volt. So how to convert first one as per the problem ten power minus twenty joules by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 a joule per electron volt so you will get electron volt approximately 0 0.06 just the conversion second one the kinetic energy of a molecule which is a 10 power minus 21 into electron volt same same we will write it as 10 power minus 21 by 1.6 into 10 power minus 19 joule per electron volt you will get it as approximately same 0 0.0062 electron volt okay the average human consumption in a human adult so normally how much energy we consider from the food we take it see generally it is 10 power 7 joules how to convert into calories or kilocalories 10 power 7 by 4.2 into 10 power 3 joule per kilo calories. So, what is this? 10 power 3 kilo gets cancelled here. Now, you can see 1 uh, kilo is equal to 4.186 or 4.2 joules, which is equal to so normally human will take here 2400 kilo calories, not calories see most of our misconception is that man is taking 2400 calories it's not that uh, 
we should mention it is a kilo calories right one food calorie is equal to one kilo calorie one food calorie calorie is one kilo calorie so 2400 kilo calories from the food of course apart from that we would walk we would run we would speak we'll do work we'll make it digest all can be done here right so this the simple uh, problem here now law of conservation of just i write the statement the principle of conservation of energy how to see that here the energy is neither created nor destroyed but can be converted from one form to another form in the whole a universe is said to be isolated if anything energy is produced that is converted to other form like the heat energy is converted to internal energy that can be utilized to some other might be producing molecules under action and electrical energy converts to mechanical energy mechanical energy converts to electrical energy so neither created nor destroyed but it can be converted from one form to other form 